Hello, this is Terrell Pauly, and welcome to the part three of the IT Basics for Beginners video series. And this series is for anyone that's trying to learn the basics of IT, just trying to learn what IT is about, and they just want to they just want to try to get started in IT, learning the basics. Maybe they, maybe you want to learn just for your own personal use, or maybe you want to learn for because you're trying to get into the into the IT field. So these this basic series that that I'm pretty much going over will help you in regards to if you're trying to get started with like a once you learn the basics and you're trying to get familiarize yourself with IT, you can learn the basics of maybe starting with the help desk job, starting as a uh, like a customer support specialist. So whatever your reason is, whether it's personal or whether it's for professional, then uh, you know this this video series is for you. Again, this is only for the basics of learning IT. This is and this is part three. So if you want to see parts of you know, videos one and two, you can actually uh, maybe I'll just link to them in the description below, and you can also just take a look at some of the other videos on my site. That's in regards to IT basics for beginners. So let's so let's so let's get started. So in this video here, what I'd like to talk about is Next, let's talk about the, let's go to the control panel. So again, this is all based on Windows uh, Windows training. So what I'd like to take a look at and right, so what I'm using is uh, on my laptop, my workstation, I have Windows 10 running on here, Windows 10 Home. Uh, let's take a look at the control panel. Now, when you're referring to to learning the basics, the basics of IT for for support purposes, or if you're trying to just learn the basics, one important tool, you know, when you come to to the control panel, you know, you can either like Windows 10, I believe, maybe Windows 8, two as well, some other. You can just type in the control panel. You can type in the search here, or you know, you can actually. Uh, maybe even you know speak the the, the voice. I have not tried to speak the uh, the actual any sort of voice commands or anything like that. But or if, in addition, you can actually come to you can do a click on your start menu if you wanted to and just kind of look for the, the control panel that way. I know there's a way to try to get to it from there, but the way that I just do it, just come here and do a search for the control panel. Now, when you have the control panel op open, what you can, so the administrative tools is a, a, uh, an important piece of the administration of Windows. So let's just go to administrative tools. So in the admin tools, you have, you have all of these different types of tools that, uh, that are available to you. And what I like, let's go over a few of these that I actually kind of use on a normal, on a regular basis, on a normal basis, which I've used over my career in the in the IT field. I think we might have already talked about computer management. So we did. So we already talked about, I believe, the device manager. But if you open up computer, computer management, there's other uh, system tools, tools that are in here that you can access that you'll be able to actually use to help you manage and, uh, and manage and actually um, deal with Windows, your Windows operating system. Now let's come to the event viewer. The event viewer is important. So the event viewer pretty much Log it's pretty much a logger for all of your events for your on your system that occur on your system that occur from hardware related to software related to application errors to just warnings and just information that that allows you to know what's going on with your system and what's going on with the the different components of your of your um, your software and your applications and things of that nature. So if you, and the event viewer is, is important because 
it allows you to it helps you with troubleshooting if you if you run into problems or issues on your workstation like a common a common error or event that 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 occurs within windows is that what they call the blue screen of death uh, bsod and that's unfortunately it's common within the windows environment typically you can actually sometimes when the blue screen, you know, blue screen of death is when your pretty much your operating system crashes. You know, it actually it'll display blue. It'll be a blue screen, and it'll show some sort of generic or maybe you no know, error that something occurs, something happened, and then what you'll be able to do is actually, and that stuff is actually logged. The details, some of that is logged in the event viewer. So you can come there if there's any additional details on that blue screen of death that you can take a look in the event viewer. And other types of events that are happen that are non less maybe critical, such as application crashes, crashes, maybe your works may, maybe um your a program crashes, such as Microsoft Excel, it crashes for whatever reason. You'll be able to come in here to the event viewer and you will be able to Maybe it'll give you additional details on what might have happened to cause the application to crash. So if there's a, a multitude of different helpful resources and tools that are available for you and, and the event viewer allows you to allows you to uh, you know that it actually logs all of, all that all of this information and you're able to actually go there to take a look to see what may actually be going on so let's go to uh so when you open up the event viewer uh, they have custom use so we're gonna the main thing we're gonna talk about here is the windows logs all right this is pretty much what i was just kind of explaining and go going over so what you have is the application log and the application log is, is will log any event that's in related to you know the applications, you know, software, your programs, anything along that nature. So it'll and it'll log information, it'll log warnings, it'll log errors. And then you can just come here and just take a look. And if you look at the event event uh, event viewer on your workstation, you come in here and you'll see just tons and tons of just just log data that you can come here and just take a look at some errors but this is where you want to come to, to check out if you're having problems with your workstation it's either software or hardware related event viewer is the place so you come here to your app application log and again it'll just you can do different things you can actually filter if you just wanted to see If you only wanted to see errors or critical, you could do a filter to only see that. You can critical errors. You can actually you can actually open a saved log that you might have exported. You can actually export this log. Save 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 as if you wanted to export for if you needed to export for and save this log to maybe provide to a a uh, window somebody in some window support technician maybe they wanted to have the some de some actual details of the logs you can provide that so you can actually export you can save it to a, some location save type as ev uh, evt x So you can create custom views. I never really actually messed around with custom views. So you can actually clear the log, right? So if you come here, if you wanted to, if you needed to get fresh logs or if you just have logs in here for, that goes years back, there's really no reason to just keep them, to keep them around. So you can actually just come here, clear log. So you can do a, so you can save first if you wanted to, or you just clear it without saving. And then that'll just clear up, clear the log. You could M clear log, clear filter. 
and then you can actually do a search here if you wanted to search for different uh, keywords, perhaps keywords that you're looking for, maybe like crash or error. You can take a look and just do a search and see what that actually comes up with. So I guess uh, all right. So I did a search here for Windows. Right, and then maybe they're just searching to find, maybe it's displaying this this text here for Windows. But you can get much more specific, I imagine, if you're looking to find something specific, specific text or specific uh, in regards to a certain application. So that's the application log. So then you have also have a security log. I've never actually really had to deal with the security log, but it's um, this log log security uh, security events in regards to so like it's just Windows that's going on, but it, it'll log different security events there. Yeah. Windows, and I'm not sure if it does anything else besides Windows. Setup, you have a setup log here, which um, I've actually have not come across or use this event, this log too often. Mainly the two types of logs that I've actually had to deal with or on a frequent basis in the past, application log and system log. So the application, again, is for all of your application-related errors or information or warnings in regards to programs, in regards to your software drivers, your you know, or your your hardware drivers, anything that's related to to the actual software and applications that run on your op operating system. So now the system log is pretty much what happens. It's the system log is pertaining to any, anything that's related to the the system itself, as far as hardware components, different different hardware components. You can actually come and take a look to see the different. Pieces of, uh, so for instance, the Realtek PCI family, uh, GBE family controller is disconnected from, from the network. The local adapter is just telling you information. There's a warning error here. It's connected device service terminated unexpectedly. So you're coming here if you wanted to actually just take a look at different, if you wanted to actually just to take a look at different types of uh, events in regards in, in relation to your, to your the system itself and the different hardware components that, that, that make up, that make up and are actually within your, within your system. So, and this is where you can actually Come take a look there, and this, so so these are pretty much the two types of logs that I, that I actually use pretty much consistently on a regular basis: is the application log and the system log. And again, it's very good for troubleshooting. It'll actually, you know, can be sometimes can be the, one of the first steps when you're trying to when you're having either software or hardware related issues or problems. You'd want to come to one of the first places where you can check is the actual event viewer. And so that's the overview of your of your Windows logs. So I think I'm gonna just cut it here, stop it here.
And uh, just, yeah, I think I'll just stop it here. So I hope that this was helpful that we, we so we, we went over the, the actual, we went over the Windows logs, we went over the application log, the system log, and what is useful, what, why, why it's useful, what is what it's used for. And we also went over the actual task scheduler. We briefly talked about that. So, and I hope this information here was actually helpful for you. Yep. Yeah, so I hope this information here was actually helpful. And that uh and why and why that the event log is an important tool and resource to know if you're trying to get into if you're trying to get into IT. So until next time, my name is Terrell Pauly. Take care.